It's Spotlight on Sports. It's maple recipes on across the fence. A tail the size of jelly beans. It's Raymond, and everybody loves Raymond. It's CSI. It's the top ten list on Letterman. It's Andy Rooney on 60 Minutes. It's Survivor. It's the news from home and far away. It's that voice that says... From Vermont's most watched news station. This is the Channel 3 News. Good evening. I'm Marcellus Parsons. Hello, I'm Marcellus Parsons. We're happy you could join us to celebrate an event that has been half a century in the making. It is the 50th anniversary of Channel 3. This is not just a program about the birth of a television station that's brought our region news and entertainment for the past half century. It is about you. Channel 3 is proud to present 50 Years of Great TV. A look at the history and commitment of Vermont's first television station as seen through the eyes of the people who watch. Viewers just like you. And now, back to our host for the evening, WCAX anchor and news director, Marcellus Parsons. You may feel as if television has been around forever, but back in 1954, it was a real novelty. Vermonters were waiting eagerly for images from their first TV station. When the day arrived, it was primarily due to the drive and ambition of one man and his vision of what the future of television would be. That man is still here at the station every day. That man is the president and owner of WCAX, Stuart Martin. We started in um, 53, really. And when it became apparent that um, we were going to have a television station, the people in Vermont were extremely enthusiastic about the project because at that time there were 48 states in the Union. 47 of them had television and one didn't. In the early 1950s, uh, the top of Mount Mansfield conceptually was uh, no different than the South Pole very remote. We didn't have snowmobiles and the road was uh, blocked by snow eight months of the year roughly. The biggest problem came when we had the antenna halfway up and two hurricanes a week apart walked right over it. In spite of bad weather that summer the transmitter site was completed, the tower erected and Channel 3 began its service to the Vermont region on September 26, 1954. Initially licensed to Montpelier, our call letters were first WMVT. In those days, the Federal Communications Commission was very picky about whether you were broadcasting exactly right in the right frequency and the right power. So before they would allow you to broadcast programs, you had to have, a, there was a two-week period where you, all you had on the air was a test pattern. Well, I got 200 ecstatic letters about that, some of them two pages long, describing in great detail how well they could see that Indian right. head. Now, WMVT, telecasting on Channel 3 from the top of Vermont, begins its first day of programming in the service of the people of Vermont, our neighbors in New York State and New Hampshire, and our friends in Canada. In an era filled with amazing possibilities, Channel 3 soon became the favorite source of information, and entertainment for the North Country. I like uh, Ed Sullivan's show as well as any of them, and I also like comedy shows like Our Miss Brooks. Also, I hope we'll be able to see some good horse races because I love to see horse races. I like to see the time, I like to hear the weather reports, and I like to get the news of the day. That first year on the air coincided with some important world and national events the Supreme Court decision ending segregation in American schools, the Army McCarthy hearings and Edward R. Murrow. One day, someone will do a massive and altogether scientific piece of research on the impact of this medium on the American people. And publication of The Lord of the Rings. 1954 also saw release of the first Godzilla movie and the first TV dinner. Big evening out. Leaving your children with no dinner? You think they'll go to the trouble of preparing a complete meal for themselves? They don't have to. Swanson's already done it. Smart thinking. No chance of an unbalanced meal for this pair. Swanson's already planned and cooked an appetizing, nourishing meal. And so easy to do. New habits were born as people across the state gathered around the family set to watch and laugh or even cry together. 
We were sharing some of television's landmark moments. Yeah, I remember uh, Jackie Gleason. I love Lucy. Um, that was Ricky, right? Hey, Lucy! Yeah, I, I uh, actually, I do that when I go home now. Yeah, I used to love Captain Kangaroo when I was a kid. I remember Mr. Green Jeans. The assassination and the funeral of JFK. Ed Sullivan's show. No, uh, what, 64, I guess, yeah. Was that when the Beatles were on? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. The Beatles! That's Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll kiss you.